Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going big box store houseplant shopping at this Home Depot and maybe a Lowe's. We're gonna go to the Lowe's if the Home Depot doesn't look like they have a lot. Um, but if they do have a lot, then we're only gonna be here because this is like, this is the good place. Ooh, look. They have all the fun outdoor plants now. So upon going inside, they had a really small selection compared to normal, but they did have Hoya Chelsea, which this is not a plant that I think I've ever seen for sale at a big box store before, so that was pretty cool. They also had some chameleon ZZs, some mini dwarf ficus liratas, which I always love to see. They had some pretty decently sized monstera deliciosas, which I haven't seen those in a minute. And they did have some marble queen pothos in a very large size, syndapsis moonlight, which are always like at every Home Depot in the world. And then they had a bunch of orchids, like a absolutely ridiculous amount of orchids. They also had this like little Alocasia Bambino poly guy, which I thought was really cute because I haven't seen these at a big box store before only sold at local nurseries. Okay gamers, we're at the Lowe's. Sorry for the voiceover we had to do at Home Depot. I've never heard them play such loud music in my entire life. I did my best to just kind of like film all of the things that I thought were interesting. This Lowe's generally doesn't have loud music, so I'm hoping I can just like actually spend time with you and walk around with you, but we'll have to see. They also have a lot of uh, plants here as well. For a second, uh, we got Chris some like, we got Chris like a burger and he's in the car eating that right now from his favorite burger place, so. Go look at the plants. Got a lot of like produce. They also have a lot of outdoor section. Perfect, normal music volume so that we can chat. Is that so hard to ask for? Dude, I look wild. Oh my God, Mikeins? Mikeins, I look like, I look bizarre right now. Decided to not clip my hair back today. I have it pulled back and then my bangs are just kind of like pushed back to the side like this. But then when my hair, when my hair is like actually clipped back, I have like 90s boy hair, like where they had, you know, imagine my hair cuts off just like right here, like this. Anyways, Mikeins, this is cute. Comes in a pot. It definitely got thrown, which sucks. How much is this one? $26.98? Yeah, even getting this one for a discount because it got thrown would probably still be expensive, which sucks because I don't have a Mikan's, like a real one. I have the variegated one, but it's very small. This one's nice though. All right, let's start right here. So we have some smaller Ficus Ruby. These are super cute. Where is our tech? I love Live Trends, you guys. I love, love, love this brand. $15.98. Down here, we have a money tree. It has like glued rocks and stuff, which sucks. The rocks are like <laughs> literally glued on. Down here, we have some cactus and succulents. This one looks super cute back here. These dudes are $16.98. We got some more money trees, big ZZs. Back here, I love the bonsai money trees a lot. This poor peacefully back there got neglected. Here we have some big air plants. These are $12.98. We got another big air plant display right here. It's like a wooden sun. And then a little bonsai. Here we have some pothos and some of these alligator ferns. These are $26.98. These are like, honestly, this is approaching the vibes of, I don't even like the plant. I'm buying this for the pot. This is also the largest piece of lily I've like ever seen. We have some more big money trees here. These are $14. It's actually a really good price for such a massive money tree. We have some philodendron Brazil up here. These are $24 from Plant Smart. Huge. 
And then down here we have some little, uh, these ones, okay. I wanna call them the Piccolo one. They have a name I can't remember off the top of my head. You guys are gonna have to remind me the super, super tiny. It's not Piccolo Banda because that's the red one. This is like the Prince Silver or something. I can't remember. Those are also from plants or uh, indoor jungle or urban jungle. They're like all the same thing. Live trends, indoor jungle, urban jungle. They're all the same brand. Moonlight, Synthapsis. These are from Plant Smart. Like, that's so weird. It says grown for Plant Smart, but that has Costa Farms tags on it is hmm that's a little suspicious here we have some pink aglio and nema they're honestly really pretty if you like pink these are all over the mexico res the resort in mexico i went to here's our cute micans again and then we have some philodendron heteracium some begonia escargo back in 2019 you guys this plant everyone was obsessed with it like you couldn't get it anywhere dude i want to get this it's okay, I'm gonna make in someday. <laughs> Here's all the escargot down there. A bunch more philodendron and then some umbrella plants. Here we have a larger philodendron heteracium. And we have some ZZs. These dudes are $14.98. We have some raven ZZs, which are nice. I haven't seen these in a minute. Also grown for Plant Smart, being sold by Costa. We have this black anthurium back here. Back a long time ago, I was obsessed with this plant, like two years ago or so. I don't remember what it's actually called. We've got some nice orchids here, some interesting ones. Look at this one. Okay, and then they're growing some like extra plants in these orchids. So some syngonium inside the big orchids. Wow, dude, the store is empty today. <laughs> There's no one here. Over here, we have some big umbrella plants. Monstera. I, I miss like the big Monstera that they would get in. Got some Calathea mosaica here. These are $24.98. Super pretty patterns. Here we have massive baskets of syngonium. Check these out. Wow. I also love their pot selection here. You guys always ask me where I get my like hanging pots from and the ones that I that aren't from the plants I've purchased from Urban Jungle are from here like this. The Allen Roth pot which are a little bit expensive but they're honestly really worth it. Mine have never broken. Oh yay we have Begonia Fedor. This is one of my favorite begonias, believe it or not. It's one of my only favorite begonias that doesn't just like exist in a terrarium. We've got some more of it down here. This one's actually so cute. $9.98. If it were like five bucks, I'd probably pick it up. I'm just not buying plants though. Um, the plants that I did buy most recently are in Arizona. I have to go back and bring them home the next time I go there. Here we have some, I think that this is a jungle cacti, a ripsalis. Trailing mistletoe capsis ripsalis capilliformis. That's pretty fun. Some philodendron heteracium over here. I like this fern, the kangaroo paw ferns. This is the clearance section, by the way, I'm thinking. I'm not sure why, I just think that it is, but maybe it's not. We got some more monstera over here and some fiddly fig. Oh, we have the uh, altissima, ficus altissima, the green on green. I haven't seen this before at a uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. That's cool. Okay, over here we have some Sansevieria moonshine, which is pretty cool. At least I think it's moonshine. It's not actually saying, but these are $12. That's a great price. It's got super, super silvery color. Super nice. And then over here, we have more of our live transplants. We love this brand. Ooh, that's nice. This is a philodendron heteracium. Super tall pot. Got some calathea, some medallion rosio picked it. Some rattlesnake calathea. Some Sansevierias. Down here we have some Pothos. I wish they would do Mykins. I don't know why they're not doing Mykins in like higher volume. Or maybe they are and I'm just late to the party and they've all been purchased. 
some lemon lime epipremnum. These ones are all $18.98. I have said it once and I'll say it again. I have found variegated string of hearts before at a Lowe's. It was only one time and it was in Utah and it was like three years ago, but have faith, you guys. I believe that if you look in the succulent section, you'll be able to find a variegated string of hearts. I like these though. These are $7.98 each and you just get like this actual little collection. That's so cute. Look at how blue. And then rounding everything around, we have some thirsty peace lilies here. And then a bunch of Calathea. This is one of my favorite. This is Calathea ornata. This one is $14.98. I love this one. I don't know why. That one and Calathea Beauty Star are like my favorite next to the rattlesnake Calathea. They're just the most interesting looking ones to me. That is gonna be everything from uh, the Slows. Didn't pick up anything today because of money and being responsible, but if I were going to get anything, I would be getting that in my kin, so. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and please check out my other YouTube videos. I'm gonna be posting more. Um, I know I always say that, but this time, I actually am. I'll see you guys in the next plant section and please support my other videos if you can. It would mean so much, literally so much. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.